Howdy folks, TJ here. The power of ATSC 3.0 or next gen TV. I wanted to show you, and this is not something that has happened 100% of the time, but a much more chunk of the time than in the past, meaning in the last 20 some odd years living at this home, uh, I would periodically get stations from San Francisco. And that's 125 miles away as the crow flies. And in certain days, I'd, hey, I'd get them for a little while and then they would go away. And then they would come back and go away. But not too often did I even get them. Now with this, the whole reason I purchased the Zapper Box was to try to grab the Sacramento signals a little better because there were times I would lose channels. Now, Next Gen TV is only uh, being output from the Sacramento Towers, I think five channels, your basic ABC, NBC, CBS, Fox, and so on. So not all these sub-channels have that capability. But my co concern was, we're watching the Super Bowl, and all of a sudden it goes out. Uh, that pisses people off, pissed me off. I wanted to see the game, right? So I just wanted to show you this morning, it is... Uh, what time is it? Uh, no, that clock's not right up there. You can't see it anyway. It's, uh, I think, around 10-something. Normally, like I said, San Francisco stations don't even come in. But under the next-gen TV, I'm getting a good enough signal where more often than not am I able to scan in and watch a show from San Francisco. It means I could watch some K-pop. Uh, if you don't know what that is, it's Korean pop music. Uh, and it's Kind of the same music all the time. You got five to seven dudes or five to seven uh, girls singing music. And it's a lot of the same, but it's it's poppy and it's fun. Uh, am I into it? Not really, but some of the songs are fine, I'm sure. So what channel am I watching right now? I don't know. No, actually, it's KTVU, I think, from uh, San Francisco. Let me just zap in here with the guide. I'm on channel 2.1 KTVU. This is the next gen version of the channel. And as you're watching it, I you're seeing video. I'm in, talking to San Francisco here, which drives. Now let's go down to the one right below here without the little rainbow is the, uh, uh, the regular version. So let's try to use my little uh, thing here. <laughs> that didn't sound right. Uh, KTVU, the non next-gen version, the ATSC-1 version. I'm scoring 20, uh, 23 on the radar antenna signal. It, it, a it actually came, it's coming in, but a few mo minutes ago, it wasn't. It was coming up. Oh, there we go. Pixelation. Uh, it, it's searching. It's searching. So when you got that low of a feed, 20-something, the odds aren't good that you're going to get to watch it. So you can see it's kind of thinking about it. And if I went to afternoon or evening, this wouldn't even come in at all. This is morning time, so you tend to get things a little bit better. But you can see I, I lost the channel. Now let's go back and see the signal on the next-gen version. 2.1 KTVU, 70, 71, 69. It takes a few seconds to think, and then it comes in. The signal is much better, at least number-wise. And my experience is that I can watch it once in a while. There may be a little hiccup here or there. But when you're getting, even if it's, oh, shit, channel just, oh, no, that's the, the news. <laughs> uh, so I'm watching San Francisco news. Let's check out some other stuff. Let's, let's see what the other stuff is. I have no idea. So uh, oh, I keep hitting the, when you're sitting at a weird angle like me right now, trying to hit the, the right buttons. So let's scroll down. So another channel. So three is my local Sacramento. Channel four is K-Ron, that's San Francisco. Let's try and see if this one comes in. So what's nice about this is sometimes if the Sacramento station happens to go out, then you can go and try to, the San Francisco one or you know, back and forth. But normally my, so far the next gen TV signals from Sacramento, even though the numbers can come down, they typically almost always come in. I don't think I've had a Lost yet, other than that one Sunday where Sacramento Towers had an issue and they were doing some updates or doing whatever, and I lost uh, next-gen feed completely. I guess that could be a thing that happens. But as you can see, I'm coming in pretty good. Uh, so I'm uh, checking out K-Ron. Uh, let's see if I can get the non-next-gen version. That's a lot easier than saying ATSC uh, 1.0.
a 23, 26, it's going to pop in. When you get uh, upper 20s, uh, sometimes you can get it lower 30s. But when you score lower than that, in the afternoon time, that 23 becomes a 10, a 7. And you definitely lose it. Once it drops below 20, you're not even going to get it at all. Uh, so right now I'm in the morning time, so I am getting some of the channels. But you can see the, the feed is much more robust, is a good word, on the next-gen TV. Let's see what number it is. Six, uh, upper 60s, uh, mid-60s. That's pretty good. So it, sh it takes a little bit to come in, next-gen TV signal. So let's try another one, just so you can get a, a firm grasp of what I'm trying to show here. Uh, 5.1, I don't, I don't even have a regular 5.1 uh, in the regular ATSC 1 version. I don't know, KPIX, I don't know if that will even come in. Let's try it for the heck of it. I won't be able to show what, uh, on the uh, older version, ATS, <laughs> ATSC why, why do you even try to say those letters? But look, 60s. And I'm getting Drew Barrymore in the San Francisco feed. Cool. Okay, let's keep going for a little bit. Let's scroll down. Uh, we should have some... Uh, oh, there's another one. 7 is KGO, Live with Kelly. Uh, we're not going to check that one out. Let's check out... 10 my local feed. Uh, I think 11 is... Yeah, so, so some of these I'm only getting the next-gen version even coming in. I'm guessing there's an 11.1 non-next-gen version, but my scanner didn't even pull it up. So that just shows you it was probably too weak of a signal when I last did my update. Are there any others here? Four, yeah, another, uh, Katie, I don't think I've ever even tried 14.1. What's that? Let's check it out. Uh, KDTV, Desperata America, a 60s, will it come in? Uh, next-gen TV. There you go. I don't know Spanish. I took it in high school, but that was five decades ago or whatever it is. Okay, so you can get the picture. Uh, you can go down into the 20s on, and this is the morning time, so that's the best time for me to get a feed. Normally, by afternoon time, evening, I've lost the San Francisco stations for good. But I can, with this, I've at 5 o'clock at night, uh, getting in the 30s to 40s on the San Francisco, maybe 50s, and I'm still able to bring them in, which is quite cool. So let's end with K-Ron. That just sounds like a cool name. K-Ron, hey, K-Ron. I'm sure there's somebody's name that's that. But I'm getting in the 60s, and I'm re watching pretty well. So that's just showing you the extra oomph, the extra robustness, at least in my area, using a wine guard antenna that was professionally aimed. What's funny is it was aimed at Sa uh, Sacramento, but if I look at a tower application, the towers in San Francisco are kind of almost behind it. Maybe a little shimmy to the left or right on some of them, but I'm guessing it's good enough to pull in those signals. Uh, 125 miles away, better than my older ATSC 1.0 signal. So is that cool? I think it is. It brings in some extra stations. Let's go check. We'll end on K-pop. I, I, what channel? It's K-pop's like 30-something. I don't know if that will even come in. Uh, but let's let's go check it out. I don't. It, it may not come in because I don't think there's a next gen version of that. But we can see if we happen to be pulling in the older signal. I think it's thirty two point something. Uh, yeah, it, KMT. I don't know if that stands for Korean something because K-pop's a Korean thing. But let's let's just see if it comes in for the hack of it. Uh, it may not. Uh, signal meter. Oh, 40, 42, 40? It should come in. That's not K-pop. <laughs> That's something else. So I guess this channel shows other things than K-pop. Um, it's an arts, K-arts, a carts channel. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, thanks for watching. I think you get the gist of this. The signals from Next Gen TV, for me, seem to be more powerful. I've seen that word used more robust of a signal. For me and the fringe, on the outer perimeter, 65 miles away from Sacramento, so I... It can have issues on the older signal, on the newer signal, better, uh, if not perfect for what I needed to do. And I can also bring in San Francisco. Thanks for watching the video. This is all courtesy of my Zapperbox, uh, Zapperbox M1, that I've been now running for, I think, three weeks now. So thanks for watching. So far, so good. Bye.